If you want to learn how to start an LLC in Missouri, you're in the right place. Now, every state has slightly different rules when it comes to forming an LLC. Starting your LLC in Missouri has the potential to give you access to tax credits, incentive programs, and loans that help you save money for the purpose of reinvestment as your business grows. Stick around to learn what the steps are to form your own limited liability company in Missouri. To get an LLC, you can either do it yourself or hire someone to do it for you. If you're going the DIY route, there are five steps total to forming your LLC in Missouri. Step number one, name your LLC. Do you already have a name for your business? You'll need to search through the business name database that's kept on file with the Missouri Secretary of State to make sure it isn't taken. Every state has its own rules about what kinds of names you're allowed to use in order to form your LLC. In general, you want to check that it's not easily confused with another business name on file. For example, Bear Claw LLC and Bear Claw LLC are not easily distinguishable. And you'll need to add either limited liability company, LLC, or LLC with periods in between each letter to your business's name. There are also certain words that may require additional paperwork, such as insurance, trust, bank, and ink. And you'll want to avoid using words that may confuse your business with a government agency. Also, though this isn't a requirement of getting an LLC, you'll probably want to grab the domain name of your business name so that no one else gets it first. Step number two, file articles of organization. Missouri requires you to file articles of organization with the Secretary of State. This is a formal document required to legally establish your LLC. You can file it online for $50 or by mail for $105. Make sure to include the name of your proposed LLC, the physical address of your business's principal office, the designated registered agent, which we'll talk about in a minute, and how your LLC will be managed. A member-managed LLC usually has a small number of members, and those members are all managers. They're able to be involved in the day-to-day -day business operations. On the other hand, a manager-managed LLC typically has a large number of members who don't want to be involved in the day-to-day -day decisions. Step number three, choose a registered agent. Having a registered agent is a requirement for forming an LLC in Missouri. A registered agent refers to a person or business who sends and accepts all legal papers, acting as the point of contact for your LLC. These documents can include regulatory and tax notices, subpoenas, correspondence, and legal filings. Your registered agent can be someone in your company, like you, or you can hire a professional service to do it for you, just as long as your registered agent has a physical street address in Missouri and is available during business hours. Step number four, create an operating agreement. Missouri is one of the few states that does legally require you to file an operating agreement with the Secretary of State. This is a very important step for forming your LLC. In general, an operating agreement records your LLC setup, organizational structure, daily duties, and general rules. It defines the roles and responsibilities of all LLC members, including the percentage of ownership allocated to each member, how profits will be distributed, and how decisions will be made. It's the core document for your business and it can help you prevent future understandings. Missouri requires an operating agreement to have the following items. One, groups or classes of members along with their rights and benefits. Two, voting structure for business decisions. Three, restrictions on membership interest transfers. Four, Allocation of income and losses among members. Five, tax elections for the company. Your operating agreement is a living document that should be updated each time there's a change in the membership or management of your company. Step number five, apply for an EIN. Your employer identification number is like a social security number specifically for your business. It's a nine digit number assigned by the IRS to identify taxpayers who are required to file business tax returns. Getting an EIN from the IRS is a federal tax requirement for all LLCs in the US. An EIN is also necessary if you want to open a business bank account, hire employees, apply for a business loan, and pay your business income taxes. You can get an EIN from the IRS online or by mail. And that's how to form an LLC yeah. in Missouri. Note that your tax requirements will vary depending on how your LLC is set up. In addition to potential corporate tax filings, you may be required to file personal income and local taxes. It's important to make sure you remain up to date with all Missouri tax guidelines and understand which deductions you may be entitled to take as a member of an LLC. If forming an LLC on your own sounds like too much of a headache, you can always go with option number two, hiring a service to take care of your Missouri LLC for you. Though it may cost more money than doing it yourself, there are a lot of benefits to hiring a pro like Taylor Brands. Our LLC service will take care of your formal application, get your EIN for you, create your operating agreement in your terms and act as your registered agent. So you can rest easy knowing that your paperwork is taken care of, deadlines are met, and your privacy is protected. If you have any more questions about forming a Missouri LLC, you can check out the link to our blog post in the video description below. And don't forget to visit the Taylor Brands website and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more information on how to successfully build your business from scratch. We can't wait to see what you create.